the AGI LED power module software. Before we go further, please ensure you have downloaded the latest version of the software from ATINorthamerica.com and that you have plugged the lamp into the control box. You then plug the control box to the power outlet and then connect the control box to your computer or laptop via the USB lead. Start off with by selecting File, New and select LED 1, 2, 3 or 4 depending on how many LED clusters you have on your power module unit. This is what the typical plot looks like. We have three modes down here. Lamp mode, color preview and day preview. So we'll start off in the lamp mode you have the ability to switch off the different plots so I'll switch off plot for the T5 chan channel 2 they were both overlapping switching on and off with the same ramping up and ramping down as each other switch off T5 channel 1 leaving the LED plot so starting off at 9 o'clock, the LED will start off with the Royal Blues, ramp up to 50% after an hour. At 11 o'clock, the preset has been changed to a Coral Plus, so from that point on, it will continue appearing as if it's a Coral Plus tube and then run down at around 8 o'clock in the evening at 50% intensity the LEDs will continue as only the Royal Blue and then basically ramp down to 0 at 9 o'clock pretty simple switch on E5 channel 1. I'm going to adjust this so there's no ramping up and down. So simply select the points, end points, and ensure it's completely dead straight. Happy with that? Switch on the plot for the channel 2. I'm just going to adjust it so channel 2 switches on after the first T5 channel. Happy with that. We can also decrease the intensity for example of the channel 2 so once you've burned in your T5 tubes you don't have to run each channel at 100% it can switch on from 0 to whatever you set 80% and run like that and switch off again or you can even have a slight ramping up and down. Take it up to maximum again. We'll move on to the color preview mode, which is here. Select one of the points and if I swing my camera over you can actually see that the royal blue channel is on as indicated on this here if I select 
one of the other points which is the preset for the Coral Plus you can see that the colour appears to be as that of the appearance of the Coral Plus tube and then just select this one here you can see it's raw blue again so you can preview what the colours will look like at various points um, I can add a bit to that custom preset add a bit of red and if I just swing the camera over or I can add So basically it's just to give you an idea of what the specific points will look like in the whole cycle. We'll now move on to the day preview. You've got the option here to speed up the day preview cycle and it's just a matter of clicking on the start simulation so if you see this line it basically runs along and it gets to each point which indicates a setting other than zero you will see a change on the lamp so I'm just going to drag this and then basically just swing my camera and you can just see that that's moving across So that's the G5 channel 1 and channel 2 have come on. So I'm happy with that. So we'll switch this back to lamp mode you'll see the lights on the ATR unit have gone off if you're happy with the settings and the colour presets then you can just save to the lamp but before we go ahead with that I'll just cover some of these presets down here for example in between I'll switch off the so it makes it easier to view the LED plots or switch off the plots for the T5 channels so basically around the middle of the day of this cycle I'm going to change the appearance of the LEDs from Coral Plus to Blue Plus and again to Coral Plus simply by selecting that point there and selecting one of the presets and if you just look at the color of the point it corresponds to your preset down here I can also change this to one of my own customs let's select custom 5 select a different color
colorful right say green you can see that's now green and select my own make up my own custom preset and basically from this point to this point the lamp will adjust the settings so this is ex what you've set here is what will actually appear at this point heading to that point bring back the plots again under the day preview you have this column here where you it has a standby symbol here and you can actually switch off certain channels or for example switch off channel 2 and the LED, LED cluster and you can select play and it will basically play and just show you that specific channel that's switched on here so for example in the day preview mode I can switch off both T5 channels switch on the LED cl cluster and start the preview I'll drag that ahead and see the LEDs ramping up I'll just speed that up a little bit I can actually see that when it gets to the T5s because I've switched it off here the T5 channels are not switching on and so your preview is only of the LED setup so we'll switch back to lamp mode if you're happy with your setup click on lamp and save in lamp and you'll see this box come up Telling you to wait, and basically it's transferring these settings to the controller. It will count up from zero to a hundred, and disappear once the settings have been saved onto your controller. You can also save the project. I've got various projects here that I've saved, trying out different combinations. You can also share with other people, they can email you their configuration file and you can basically copy someone else's LED and T5 profile and have the same settings on your own power module um, that's about it okay um, just one other thing here you see settings if you click on this you can basically change the colors of the various plots but also you've got these two settings here spacing intensity and spacing time spacing time relates to these points on the graph so a setting will change when you drag across every 15 minutes 
which corresponds to this number here or you can have it every 10 minutes, every 5 minutes and the intensity count here is dragging up or down so 80, 85, 90 or I can have it 10 so it changes from for example from 90 straight to 100 so if you haven't got any intermediate points in between or you can go very detailed and add more points in between but basically that's it save the project and that's it I hope this is useful um, I will upload a clearer video of the software onto my YouTube channel as well so you can see you can read these clearly I'm not sure how clear it's coming out on my old iPhone 4 and just simply exit the software